What's going on? Vital Syntax here, and this is some gameplay with the M5K, also known as the MP5K or Compact MP5, which is one of the new submachine guns or PDWs for all the different kits in Battlefield 3 that they released with the Close Quarters expansion pack. And to unlock this weapon, what you need to do is get uh, at least finished top 5 in a round of Gunmaster, which is that new gun game mode that they've added, as well as getting 100 kills with any of the other. Uh, uh, submachine guns that are in the game. Now the MP5K, I don't really feel like it stands out in any any way in comparison to the other uh, submachine guns, and I would probably, re probably recommend using something other than it, just because it's kind of outclassed by a lot of other weapons in that same category, and I'll get to that a little bit later on, but uh, it has a 900 round fire rate, a 20 round magazine, uh, if you put extended mags that goes up to 30. Um, it has pretty easy to use iron sights, fast reload, and the um, has a 20 points of damage at close range that drops all the way down to about 12.5 points of damage at, at longer ranges. Uh, so up close, which is really where you're going to be wanting to use this weapon, especially if you're playing these uh, new close quarters maps. Uh, it's going to do 20 points of damage, meaning it's going to kill in 5 shots. And that's not anything higher than the rest of the guns in its category. Most of them are at 20. A couple of them are at 25. Uh, and some of them are a little bit lower, like 16 or something. Um, and even though this gun has a high fire rate at 900 rounds per minute, there's a lot of other weapons in this same category that have that same fire rate. For example, the MP7 has a 950 round per minute fire rate. P90 has a 900 round fire rate. The PP19 has a 900 round fire rate. Um, the AS Val has a 900 fire rate. So it's actually kind of a normal fire rate for some machine guns. And since it has a smaller magazine, you know, you know, low damage and kind of just your average fire rate, it's really not that good. Uh, and I think the biggest weapon that outclasses it is the P90 because it has the same fire rate as the P90, uh, almost the exact same damage. The P90 actually does a little bit more damage, um, or sorry, a little bit less damage at longer range, but we're talking like 0.5 damage. And you're not going to be using it at long range anyway. But the biggest difference is that this thing has a 20 round magazine without the extended mags, of course. Whereas the P90 has a 50 round magazine, which just makes the, the biggest difference in the world. So I feel like this weapon's really not going to be used too much. It is kind of fun to mess around with. Um, and it's still a good weapon at close range. I mean, you're, you, you can get sh outshot pretty easily by uh, other PDWs. Um, or even carbines and assault rifles because you have to keep in mind that those weapons are doing 25 points of damage at close range which can make them a four shot kill which uh, can be kind of hard to compete with when you when you have a lower damage weapon uh, like a PDW and really the reason that they have the submachine guns in the first place is that you can use a kit such as the uh, recon kit or the support kit uh, without having to use their specific weapons. So LMGs are, you know, very, very sluggish. Yeah, you can't really, really run and gun with them that uh, that effectively. And sniper rifles, obviously, it's the same way. They're super sluggish. You have to really hold down a position, uh, stick to only long range, maybe medium range if you're using like a, 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 um, a semi-auto sniper. But uh, the PDWs are kind of there so that you can uh, use those kits, so use claymores and C4 and ammo, or use spawn beacons and uh, motion sensors and things like that with a, the recon kit, while still having a you know a rush weapon, something that's still good at close range. Um, but they're really outclassed by a lot of other weapons just because they don't really have exceptional anything. And I don't know how this guy did not die. I got really frustrated when he killed me. Uh, I guess he had the spawn protection. Um, but yeah, they kind of are outclassed by almost every other class. They don't have a whole lot of damage. They do have fi high fire rates in general, but there's some assault rifles that go higher. But uh, anyway, I'm not too excited about this weapon, as you can tell. I don't know if I would recommend using it all too much other than just download or not downloading it. Uh, unlocking it and uh, trying it out just to see what it feels and looks like and things like that. Uh, so the game mode I'm playing here is Conquest Domination, which is one of the new game modes that I haven't talked about yet on my channel. And it is very similar to Domination from Call of Duty and very similar to Conquest from Battlefield. That's why I kind of mix the two names together. Um, the biggest difference is that obviously you're playing on these super tiny maps um, and they always have uh, three 
uh, flag points. Typically the, the, the B bomb site or B flag is going to be somewhere in the middle of the map and that's kind of the one you're fighting over the most. Uh, and then you, whichever flag you control is usually kind of where you're spawning at. Um, and I think they did a good job with the map design and they kind of catered these maps to fit um, this this new mode that they were adding because you can tell that they have you know multiple levels and at the very basement kind of like the uh, the ruins beneath the or the tunnels beneath this building that they've, that they've created that's where the B bomb site is so it's not wide out in the open where you can just like throw grenades and shoot rocket launchers everywhere from balconies and stuff um, and then you've got the two other uh, flags A and B which are ones up on here on the balcony um, and it's kind of a high point to control maybe a good spot for a sniper uh, and then you've got the other one that's on the complete other side so it's somewhat symmetrical in that sense um, but obviously each side is slightly different so I think they did a good job and I'm having fun with it although you do get a, do get a ridiculous amount of points by playing this game mode it's like 400 points for a flag cap and it happens it, you cap flags really really fast so anyway thanks for checking out the video and uh, my re kind of first impression thoughts on the MP5K, and I'll see you guys later.